Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, this video is about a South Carolina town that has a Confederate monument dedicated to slaves and black descendants wanted to stay with good reason. You see, across South Carolina and the South, Confederate monuments are ubiquitous. In Rock Hill, York, Chester, Lancaster, the monuments are in front of county courthouses and in cemeteries and tout a cause historians say clearly was born out of secession to keep slavery. But Fort Mill is different. Fort Mill has a monument in its Confederate park dedicated to quote faithful slaves to the Confederacy as the monument states memorialized by the Samuel White family of Fort Mill. The debate rages around the country after last month's violence in Charlottesville, Virginia between white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and Antifa about whether monuments to the Confederacy have a place in modern America. Will descendants of slaves in the Fort Mill area say that monument should stay right where it is? Quote, that time in history happened. We can't go back and change that, said Fort Mill native Weldon Harris. My read on that monument is that it was done for atonement. As the descendants of the family planned a reunion last year, research found Harris's great-grandfather, Handy White, whose name is mentioned on this monument, was born a slave around 1832 and is one of the, quote, faithful slaves honored on the white stone. Harris said he sees the monument as unique to blacks who were, who were slaves and survived enslavement. That doesn't make the Confederate cause for trying to keep slavery any more tolerable, Harris said. He said black people who were part of the Confederate service as cooks, servants, and soldiers did so out of fear of retaliation or retribution from their masters and were ordered to do so because they were not free. So it wasn't that they wanted to do this, they did it because they were forced to do it. Quote, I am proud that my great grandfather survived it, unquote, said Harris, 53, who now lives in Northern Virginia, not far from Charlottesville. I am not embarrassed. The Fort Mill Monument went up in 1895 and states, quote, 1860 dedicated to the faithful slaves who, loyal to the sacred trust, toiled for the support of the army. With matchless devotion and with sterling fidelity guarded our defenseless homes, women, and children during the struggle for principles of our Confederate States of America. 1865, unquote. It is one of only three monuments across America honoring slaves. Another is in West Virginia, the other in Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, according to Smithsonian Magazine. Daniel Watts, 80, also is a great grandson of White. Daniel is the first African American to serve on the Fort Mill Town Council and Fort Mill School Board. Until recently, Watts said, like others, he overlooked the monument. The subject never came up during his time on council, he said. Quote, I agree it should stay up and be there for people to see and understand that is where we came from, Watts said. This is my great-grandfather Handy White on here. This is where I came from. This is me. Watts and Harris say the monument should stay up not because it is their family, but because it is unique in that it memorializes black history and those black people who helped forge Fort Mill. Harris and Watts say as older men they can more easily see the historic importance of the monument than younger people who see it as an affront to their race and heritage. Quote, 
I don't think the solution is to go after it with sledgehammers, Harris said. The Reverend Charles White Kaiser, another family member and pastor of a church in Rock Hill, said slavery was an abomination. But the monument shows the strength of a people subjugated could not be denied and was not stamped out and remains in him and others. Four Confederate monuments, including one unique to Fort Mill that acknowledges faithful slaves who allegedly supported the Confederate Army, are in Confederate Park in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Town officials say the South Carolina Heritage Act means only the South Carolina General Assembly can vote to change or remove the monuments. These monuments were placed in the park more than a hundred years ago by a private citizen when the park was private property. Although in 2017, it is a town park supported and maintained by town taxpayers. The South Carolina Heritage Act of 2000, which gives sole authority to change Confederate monuments to the legislature, means the town residents and its leaders have no say in whether the monuments stay or go, officials say. But the Heritage Act is under legal scrutiny. A pending lawsuit in Greenwood over a monument to, quote, colored soldiers claims the Heritage Act is unconstitutional. The Fort Mill Monument illustrates a core issue for African, African American descendants from slaves who have almost no history or heritage that is part of the larger Southern history talked about in America or displayed on monuments, said Adolphus Belk, political science professor at Winthrop University and a national expert on race, public policy, and ethnic politics. He goes on to say, quote, there are no monuments to these people who are descended from slaves, no monuments to the liberation of a people, but there are monuments to their tormentors and those who fought to keep them enslaved, Belk said. Blacks were denied their personhood and ability to decide for themselves as a free people. And family, before I go on, that's a point that I wanted to point out. That there are going to be white Americans who are going to look at this and they're going to look at this situation and compare apples and oranges. That's right. They're going to compare the taking down of Confederate statues like or monuments uh, like Robert E. Lee, you know, someone who supported slavery versus monuments dedicated to the slaves who helped build this great nation to be what she is that allows white Americans and the rest of us, by the way, the privileges that we have. It was due to black slaves. Black slaves are the reason why white America is in the position she finds herself today. That is a fact. But I digress. Quote, why is this all they have to hold on to, Belk said, that should be asked of political and community leaders who espouse keeping Confederate history alive. Where is the real story of what those people had to endure the circumstances of their lives? Question mark. A debate only about the Confederacy and its monuments to white generals and others who espouse racial superiority and slavery dismisses the history and millions of blacks who were enslaved and for generations have been and remain southerners belk said this is so important black people i hope you are really getting this just as i have i'm sure you are harris a retired army soldier wore just one flag the United States flag on his uniform for decades. He says, waving or honoring the Confederate flag is wrong. Quote, that flag has become the battle cry 
for egregious terrorist organizations such as the KKK, the Nazis, the white supremacists, Harris said. And he's true and correct. Black people who support and defend the Confederate flag, I hope you just heard that because, again, it's a battle cry for egregious terrorist organizations. If you didn't catch that, such as the KKK, the Nazis, and white supremacists. So I would ask any black person, why are you so proud of displaying and wearing the Confederate flag if you know it's a battle cry for white supremacists and the KKK? People who are against you as a black person, how could you turn your back on other black people and think it's okay to support that? That's a question I would ask those black people who I've seen across social media defending the Confederate flag. I would have to ask you that. But I digress. The monument in Fort Mill honors something different. In 2018, the family descended from Handy White again will gather in Fort Mill and walk down to the monument and take pictures as a group in front of the monument dedicated to the slaves. Quote, that monument is part of who I am, who we all are, unquote, White Kaiser said. Quote, we are grateful for the recognition for our family and the families of all the black people on this monument, on this monument. We don't want this statue going anywhere, unquote. And again, like I said, you would understand why, and I just read it to you. With that, let's go to the short video clip. This, on the other side of the statue are names of our ancestors, Sprats, White Springs. But this black claim to be 1860, dedicated to the faithful slaves who loyally of sacred trust, toil from support of the army, and with sterling fidelity guarded our defenseless homes, women and children during the struggle for the principles of our Confederate state of America. So we're grateful for the recognition of our family and this statue, you know, we don't want statues going down. to me because of my grandmother and my great grandfather. This is my great great grandfather, man. He is Andy White. This is where I came from. This is this is this is me. This, this is my family. This is because it represents the part of the White family legacy and the heritage. Uh, when you see the name White on here, and especially my great great grandfather Andy White, who helped establish this community called Paradise. Uh, these monuments have nothing to do with uh, racism to us. It has nothing to do with uh, the Confederacy. It has something to do with our family heritage. Argument itself is probably not any different because people feel the way they feel about these monuments. Uh, I take it that if you don't change a man's heart, having out all the monuments in the world will make a difference. Monument in Fort Mill, Confederate Park is one of four Confederate monuments. This one is unique, apparently, to Fort Mill in that it mentions slaves. It was put up by a private person in the early 1900s when the park was private property. Town officials say that the monuments are covered under the South Carolina Heritage Act, which means that only the legislature has the authority to change them, move them, or have any other 